What's up, you guys? Thanks so much for tuning in today's video. I thought it was a good time to do another eyeing it or not buying it. This is my version of the series that Samantha March created here on YouTube, the Will I Buy It series. Everybody's doing them now, and the eyeing it or not buying it is my version of it. So I want to go through some of the new releases that I see coming over on Instagram. I'll let you guys know what pages and everything when I do the screenshots. I try to leave the name of the pages that I'm using just for easy spelling, easy access, but I'll also put them down in the description box to make it a little easier for you guys if you want to follow along there. We have some things I definitely am eyeing, and and some things I'm just absolutely not going to be buying. If you want to find out what those are, go ahead and keep watching. All right, so first I'm on the Angel Naked One page. I see a Dior Backstage Eyeshadow Palette. I've never tried these eyeshadow palettes and I actually want to return the Dior highlighter that I purchased during the Sephora sale. I actually wanted to return that and get one of the Dior Backstage Palettes. I'm gonna put the one that I actually want here on the screen. But they're showing that this Dior Eye Palette that's coming out is more like a peachy slash rosy kind of situation. From the looks of it, I think that only a few of those shades would actually work on my skin tone. It looks like one of those are also like maybe a cream product that at the top, maybe not so much of a cream product, but maybe like a base. I've never tried the Dior eyeshadow formula at all. So I was kind of curious about it, but not necessarily this palette. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Oh, Charlotte Tilbury got a couple of things coming out. So let's talk about it. Charlotte Tilbury, she's going to be coming out with the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. I'm excited about that. I have been using the Beautiful Skin Foundation. I actually uh, featured it. I think it was a Get Ready With Me video that I featured it. And you can see like the color match, the shade match is perfection. The only thing about that foundation is it doesn't really wear too long. I wore it to work and I felt like, of course, I'm still wearing my mask and everything. But I felt like by the time I went to the restroom and actually got a good look at my face, I felt like a lot of it was actually wearing off, especially like around the mask area, which is to be expected. I mean, it's not going to be transfer proof when, you know, you got all that friction going on with the mask. But this concealer is actually saying that it's going to be a 16 hour wear. It's going to have medium coverage and it's suitable for sensitive skin. And that should be coming sometime in the summer. We don't have a date for it, but you guys know I love to try new concealers and I am kind of interested in that one. So that is something that I'm definitely eyeing. Also, Charlotte Tilbury is going to be coming out with some cream bronzers. Now, her powder bronzer, one of my favorite bronzers, that big old gold beautifulness. I absolutely love that bronzer. So when I seen the picture of this, I was like, wait, she has bronzers already. But then, you know, all the pages and everything was giving us details about the packaging that actually shows that it's going to be a cream bronzer. That made me excited. If I'm not mistaken, it's going to be like four or five shades. So it's supposed to, you know, fit like a wide range of skin tones. I was thinking like, should I get the deeper shade or should I get the shade before the deeper shade? I need to actually take a look around her website because I heard that it is the website showing as currently sold out. So when that goes live, that will be something that I just may be picking up because I love me a good cream bronzer. So I'm excited about that release for sure. Lancome is coming out with a new eyelash serum. So it's supposed to be their Hypnose Volume Serum Mascara. This did kind of catch my eye because honestly, I've never had a Lancome mascara that I haven't liked. I have yet to crack open the Adelaide, the one that I got, you know, during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, but Sephora had it and I got it when I was in the store at Sephora 50% off. I've yet to try the Adelaide or Idaho or however you want to call it. But the Hypnose line, I've definitely tried a couple from that line. And like I said, I've never had a Lancome mascara that I haven't liked. I like the Hourglass Shape Wand. It says your eyelashes will be stronger. This mascara adds volume and division. At the moment, there's only one shade, which is Sculptural Black. So it looks really, really dark. And the lashes do look good in the before and afters that they're showing here. So I am kind of interested in that mascara as well. But I'm not one to like actually go and jump on a mascara when it first releases because I have like so many mascaras that I still haven't even tried out. It's like I say I want it and I want to get it and everything and then I just get it and I put it in the collection. So I think I need to go through a couple of mascaras before I buy anything else. Now something else that I was highly interested in, I think concealers is just like the death of me, but Huda Beauty, she will be coming out with the faux filter concealer. I love her the stick foundation that she has. I've never tried the liquid foundation from Huda Beauty, but the stick foundation so bomb and that is my summer shade so now this is warming up i know in a couple of months i'll definitely be reaching 
for that really really soon so i just may have to get this faux filter concealer just to go along with that but i'm excited about that it says this new concealer has a dense texture but at the same time it moisturizes and masks floors and again that's coming in the summer but we don't really have a date as of yet Oh, okay. This is something that I haven't even seen before. So it says there is a Chanel Le Beige Summer XXL Collection. So this is going to be the Le Beige Healthy Glow Oversized Powder. It's going to be $88. <laughs> and it's going to come in three shades. So um, I don't have a picture of all three shades. The two shades that are being showed are Le Beige for real. <laughs> <laughs> not for us but you know I'm thinking that being that it's like a healthy glow powder it's not supposed to be like so much coverage it's supposed to give you like a nice glow if I'm not mistaken did I see Tina from the fancy face she may have used a powder like this before maybe another brand though I'm not sure but I'll just keep my eyes on that I'm not really saying that I'm gonna jump on that one per se I know Fenty Beauty, they recently released this little duo kit so you get one of the Fenty Beauty OG lip glosses along with the Heat Mini Lip Gloss and it's a duo set that you get. Now, the one Fenty Heat that I tried was that mini sample. I, I showed you guys, I actually tried it on my lips for you guys and lo and behold, y'all also, also saw me react to it because I felt like my lips was kind of on fire so it's definitely bringing the heat. That's nothing that I'm personally checking for, but if you love those two formulas, you can get too many Fenty Glow. I think they're both in the shade Fenty Glow. If you like those formulas, you want something mini to carry around, that may be a good set for you. Oh, this is something that I thought was pretty cool, actually. MAC Cosmetics is collaborating with Marvel and Black Panther. It says, in the honor of the release of Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, the brand MAC Cosmetics will release a new limited MAC and Black Panther Wakanda Forever Fall Collection 2022 in the fall. It says, at the moment, it's un it is known that the collection will be released at the end of October. So this is a while now. We got until October to get our coins up and get ready and excited for this collection. So this is like an early, early sneak peek. But what's going to be available is a face highlighter, which is going to be in two shades. The MAC MS MSF highlighters they just give you like that pretty glow from within and i have a couple of them in my collection the imprint on this msf this highlighter and this yeah it's an extra dimension skin finish this one is royal challenge then there's another one which is like a more deep coppery bronze and that's royal vibrancy those look pretty cool though i ain't gonna front i'm like kind of intrigued by this collection there's also going to be three lipsticks and all three shades are something that i actually would rock but i know damn well I don't need to buy no MAC collections because I don't even use the MAC lipsticks that I have. But if I was going to buy it and purchase it to do a video on here, I would want to get the whole collection. Because I just like the fact that, number one, it's a collaboration. I absolutely love the movie Black Panther. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be taking the kids to see Black Panther Wakanda forever. Black Panther 2. So I think this will be a nice little collection to commemorate that. There's also going to be four shades of the Volume Effect Lip Gloss. Oh, are those new products from um, MAC Cosmetics? It says four shades. I only see three here. Um, That top shade is intriguing me. I think the name of it is Show Off. So I just may grab a gloss as well. Oh, but the gloss has glittering particles. I don't know if I want any glitter particles in my uh, gloss. I actually put on a gloss today because we, um, we actually just came back from eating. So I had on, first of all, Sorry, pause break, but I just want to give you guys an update on something that I have purchased. So on my lips today, I am wearing the Gucci Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the shade Lizzie Tiger. Now, I don't really like the pigmentation of this lip gloss. Babe said he loves it, but you know, men don't know nothing. I feel like I can still see through my lips. I did line it with my MAC Cherry Lip Liner. And while I was out, I ended up topping it off with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Cheeky. Now, when I went to take this cheeky off, like I can still see the glitter particles on my lips and I really don't like that. So I don't know if that's what's making it go on extra patchy now because I felt like it looked all right before I left. But it could be just the fact that I ate, I took it off and I applied lip gloss and now I want to go back on with the, the matte lip the matte liquid lipstick I don't know but for $42 I'm really not a fan of the pigmentation of this lipstick I definitely expected more coming from Gucci I absolutely love their bullet lipsticks and I was fully intending on buying the um, orange bullet lipstick in Agatha Orange and I seen these come out and I chose to go well I chose to go with this because they were a newer release but I really kind of regret buying that and instead not getting the bullet lipstick but 
you know, you live and you learn. There's actually a couple of products from the Sephora haul that I'm considering taking back. So I think I'm going to do a separate video just to like my top five and my bottom five products that I purchased during the Sephora sale because I did pick up a lot. So I do want to come back here and give you guys some updates on that. But you did get just a quick update. I do like the other shade though because it's more of a neutral shade. I think it just goes more. I think it's just more noticeable with this red shade. So just wanted to throw that out there. But let's go ahead and continue on. We have some new Dior mascara. I'm not really a fan of the Dior Show mascara, but... This one looks different. I've only had the Dior Show mascara in many like samples and stuff, so maybe the wand looks better on the full size. But there's two. It says there's a Dior Show and a Dior Pump and Volume mascara. Yeah, it's being updated. So each variant of the mascara will have three shades. The brand is positioning new mascara with a clean formula. These new Dior Show mascaras are going to come out in May. Looking at the wand, it definitely looks better than what they used to look like. I felt like that wand was just way too big. And it wasn't just nothing to write home about. Because I felt like if I was paying so much money for a mascara, I can get better mascaras from the drugstore. So here's to hoping that... That Dior mascara is going to be better. Let me know if you tried the Dior show back in the days. And are you looking forward to this new updated version of the Dior show mascaras? Dior's also coming out with some liners. There's going to be some matte, some satin, and then some shiny. And a total of 15 shades. So that's going to be coming later on this month as well. And about This is the MAC Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Lipsticks. I'm not sure if they're here in the United States. It says they've been released over in Taiwan. But I'm not sure when it's going to actually be released here. But, you know, Lipsticks, they always catch my eye, but again, I don't need no more black lipsticks, even though I just may want to try one or two just to try the formula. You know, I love good lipsticks, but these are like the slim kind of lipsticks, and if anybody knows lipsticks, it's definitely MAC Cosmetics, so... Let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Now I'm moving over to Hot Fire Makeup. And I was so surprised that I was kind of interested in this collection. So, ColourPop Cosmetics, you know, they got it. At some point, we had to talk about them, right? So, this is the ColourPop Cosmetics Star Wars collection. And it's coming soon to their website, Ulta Beauty. The collection includes the Star Wars palette. And I think out of all the collections that they did, well... The Mandalorian was kind of cute too when they had the little baby Yoda on the front. But this Star Wars palette is giving me those blues, it's giving me the red that's making me think of lightsabers. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not like a Star Wars stand or anything like that. I know it because, babe, I got a fun fact, a fun story that I thought of when I seen this collection. I was pregnant with our first child, Dejan, who was now 16 years old. So we're talking six, 17 years ago. We went to the movies and it was like the midnight movie. <laughs> He just had to see the Star Wars, Star Wars movie, whatever it was that came out. And girl, let me tell y'all, I ate my snacks and I was knocked out pregnant and all until that movie was over. Like, whatever. <laughs> I didn't care about the movie, but he likes it. And I don't know, this for some reason, this one color pop and Star Wars collection is speaking to me. I'm just feeling it. I like the lipsticks. I absolutely love their Lux glosses and I do love their uh, bullet lipsticks that they have as well. So they're going to have Luxe Cream Lipsticks and the Luxe Lip Gloss. I love those formulas that they have. And there's also some Jelly Mud Shadows. I'm not really a jelly shadow girl. But the palette and the lipsticks, those just may be coming home with me. I'm really interested in this ColourPop and Star Wars collection. Let me know what you think, guys. I think it's been a while since I ordered the ColourPop collection, like, right off the bat where I felt like I had to have it but this just may be the one it just looks fun and I'm intrigued like I'm just loving makeup right now it's been a minute because you know with the whole panty and everything that's been going on over the last two years it's just fun to get back into makeup and start wearing makeup and using what we have and I also like to bring in some new stuff too. Ula Hermickson is coming out with a Banana Bright Sun Kiss Self Tanner and Makeup Primer. Oh, so for my girls that like to self tan, you can tan and prime all in one. That would be a good look for you guys. That would be a $40 product if you're interested in that. This product, this is the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Blur and Balm Powder. I watched Glam Girl Chelsea's video. I think that was, yeah, that's the only person's video that I've seen so far on it. And with her having the science background, she kind of broke down the ingredients and helped us understand what the actual product that she, that Danessa Marx uses in this balm and what it would do for our skin. I really appreciated that video. So I'll link that down in the comment section below if you want to check that out. But 
this product still confuses me even after watching her demo and watching it, it look really good but Danessa Myricks being a makeup artist you know she knows what she's looking for when it comes to her artistry so I believe you can use this product for pretty much anything you can use it as a primer you can use it as your foundation you can get a deeper shade to contour like you can do so many different things with it it says it's texture reducing coverage boosting blurring balm that balances all use throughout the day while maintaining hydration so there's a universal flashback free shade to prime blur and set along with 10 tinted shades to prime cover blur and set so like i said you can use it for so many different things it's only a 36 dollar product but you can set with it but it's a balm and it's supposed to be a powder like it kind of i don't know it's just too much going on with that powder so um, maybe I'll wait for some more reviews to come out. I don't think this is nothing that I personally want to jump on and get, but I know a lot of people are excited for this, so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Two Faced Two Face is going to be releasing the Better Than Chocolate collection, which is coming soon. They're going to have a new eyeshadow palette that's in that, you know, the, if y'all know the chocolate bar palettes from way back in the days, that was like, I think that product was the product that inspired me to do the products I regret buying <laughs> that in the very first one that I did many years ago if I'm not mistaken the chocolate bar was definitely a, a feature product and that may have actually inspired the whole video <laughs> I used to hate that palette the eyeshadows used to be muddy on me um of course Too Faced quality has gotten way better over the years I do enjoy the holiday releases that they come out with, especially in that tin packaging. I um, Most recently, I got some of the mini palettes that they had released, and I enjoyed those. This palette, am I interested? Not really. I'm mean, That color story is just not really speaking to me. Then there's also going to be, so, oh God, this better than sex mascara and chocolate. Like, do we need more of that mascara? That mascara is good. Like, it makes your lashes really dark and really voluminous, but then... With me and my watery allergy eyes, I will find like it smudges underneath, you'll have flaking and all kind of stuff. So that's why that's really not a mascara that I prefer. They're also coming out with the natural chocolate bronzer. If there's only one shade of that bronzer, it's not going to bronze me. So I'm not even going to check for it. I'm not really checking for anything from this collection, but there's also lipstick, some lip injection, and the Better Than Sex liquid liner. None of that I'm checking for, so I'm definitely not buying that. Same Beauty. Now you guys, oh, I got it right here in front of me because I absolutely love it. This Same Beauty is set powder. That is the one and only product that I've tried for them and I am really intrigued to try more. But this one, not so much because this is going to be their new Hydra Beam Brightening and Hydrating Under Eye Concealer. This actually launches tomorrow, 5-2. Oh, so probably by today, <laughs> the day that you're watching this, this is actually launching. But it says it's packed with clinically tested powerhouse ingredients like squalene, glycerin, cucumber, and tomato extract. Number one, I always love when products actually put products that I can pronounce and I know what they are. Love that. But the only thing about this, it says it's an ultra hydrating sheer concealer. I'm not looking for no more sheer concealers, which by the way... The LYS concealer, I told you guys where, how I felt like it didn't give so much coverage, but for some reason it just looks so beautiful on the skin. Like It's like the angles that you hit, like it may not be so, it may not have so much coverage, but it does have like that blurring property where it really doesn't look like you have the dark circles. I'm not wearing it today. I'm looking in the mirror. I don't know why, <laughs> but I just wanted to mention that about the LYS Beauty Concealer. So if it's anything like that, it may be a good look. But being that this is just in the description, it's saying that this is a sheer concealer. LYS is trying to pass themselves off as a high coverage concealer. That ain't it. But this is saying that's sheer coverage concealer. I mean, the price is only $26. But I'd rather try other safe products within their line before I actually go for a concealer like this. Because I'm not really in the market for any sheer coverage. I told y'all, the definition of concealer is to conceal, at least to hide my imperfections. And that's what I'm here for. Oh, guys, did y'all see these bronzers that L'Oreal had dropped? Um, I think they showed up on Ulsa's website last weekend. I haven't placed the Ulsa order for this just as of yet, but I figured, like, this is something that I would pick up if I seen it in the store 
and I wanted to throw one in the bag. The powder foundation that they had it was just a little bit too dry for my skin. So when I look at this packaging, it just brings me flashbacks of that dry skin that I had with the powder. So that's why I didn't jump on this one, but I am kind of intrigued by it and I'm definitely eyeing it. Like I feel like I've been kind of neglecting drugstore products on my channel and here on Kate's Ways, I told y'all I inspire you to do it your way, whether that's high end, low end, whatever, between the spectrum. I love it all. I just love makeup period as a whole. So like I said, if I was in the hotel and I actually ran across the display and they had a shade that would look good for me, I just made one to come home and try it for you guys but nothing that I'm actually running out to get there's some skincare products that I want to talk about really quickly Pat McGrath she's actually releasing her first skincare item and it's gonna be the divine skin roll 001 the essence why right here it says it launched 429 this came out this weekend guys I didn't even know that and I didn't get an email from them so I'm not sure if it really did come out or not but it's, it's the secret behind Pat's signature Divine Glow. There's some rose petal technology with deeply nourishing botanical extracts to create an instant skin perfecta. Like everything that she does is just so pretty and elegant like even the packaging, the gold accents on the packaging, everything just looks so elegant. I think that's a glass bottle from what it's looking like to me but if I'm not mistaken I've seen somewhere, it's not showing me here, but I've seen somewhere like this Essence is going to cost like 80 something dollars. I'm not sure if I'm with that. I would like a mini version of it first to see if it's something that I actually like. I may not want this big old bottle because what if I don't use it? Like with skincare, I like my stuff to be fresh. So that's why I do kind of prefer mini sometimes. So let me know what you guys think about this Pat McGrath Essence. I remember when she was teasing things and I seen the little skinny box when, you know, they pushed away the sequins and everything. I was like, oh, it's going to be a new lip kit. That's what I was thinking. And then she came out. She went ahead and they finally released the promo photo, the promo video for the Essence. And I was like, oh, I think none of us really expected like a skincare product from Pat McGrath Labs. So I'm glad that she's actually, you know, expanding her horizons. I don't know if I'm going to run jump to try it. Something I was actually really, really tempted to order the other day. But then I just remembered that I have mask here that I need to use. But Fenty Beauty did launch their Cookies and Clean Whip Clay Detox Face Mask with salicylic acid, it's $32. It says this lightweight detox whip clay mask extracts dirt, impurities, and oil while encapsulated charcoal bursts upon massaging into skin to help clarify. It's been tested on all skin types, including sensitive skin. That was kind of intriguing to me, and I was so tempted to buy it just to try it out, and then I had to remember, like, I'm not, I'm like a third of the way done with the You To The People clay mask that I had just recently purchased, so there's no reason for me to purchase that, but it's definitely on my radar. I'm definitely gonna be checking for other people's reviews on that product so let me know what you guys think about the Fenty Beauty cookies and clean detox mask that's coming out are you guys gonna be trying it are you looking for other people's reviews let me know let's talk about it down in the comment section below oh another product from Danessa Myers now this one I'm actually checking for so this is a new shade of her dew wet balm and sweet board I actually saw the uh, dew balm that I have in my collection and I was gonna wear it today but my face is pretty matte for the most part I mean I do have on highlighter of course but I didn't want it to be like that dewy wet thing where my face is pretty matte but I'll definitely be bringing the one that I had out more in the summertime because I just love that look and this one is a beautiful shade the shade name is sweet water it's a highlighting hydrating face and body balm that creates a buildable wash of shimmer this is gonna be available May 22nd and I am absolutely eyeing that. It looks really, really good. I like the formula of that. Like, it's not too sticky or tacky or anything like that. Um, of course, it is a dew balm, so I like to apply it, like, as one of my last steps. So I don't mind that balmy texture that she has there. Now, when I tell you when during the Sephora sale, I kept searching for this product, and I, I still don't think it's even at Sephora as of yet, but it says it's available now on Harrods, the Givenchy Prisme. Libre Press Powder. I've been wanting to try that loose powder for so long. I'm not really necessarily a loose powder girl. I, if I could, I would prefer a pressed powder over a loose powder. So I was looking for this over and over again during the sale. Never showed up on Sephora, but I'm definitely eyeing that. If not when it releases, maybe during the full Sephora sale, hopefully by then they'll have it. But I'm definitely checking for that and eyeing that product. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys tried the loose powder from Givenchy? Let me know down in the comment section below. I've heard great things about it. I'm really excited that they're coming out with a press version of it. Now I can sit here and talk about new makeup releases all day long, but I think this video has been a little bit long. 
So I'm gonna stop here. Let me know if there's any upcoming products that I didn't discuss in the vi this video that you have been eyeing, or if you're just not buying it, let us know down in the comment section below what that product is and why not. If, also let me know your thoughts on the products that I did discuss in today's video. Are you eyeing it or are you not buying it? You have the same sentiments that I do on certain things. Let's talk about it down in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys and hearing your thoughts. And then it also lets me know like what you guys are interested in seeing from me. If you'd like to see me review any particular product, definitely share that in the comments as well. K-Squad, I want to thank you guys for tuning in today's video, taking the time out of your day to come chill with me, chat about these upcoming beauty releases that's going to be coming to our community. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That helps me out greatly and it lets other people know that they should be watching this video. I want to say what's up to all the new subscribers that have been coming over to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you guys are enjoying my content. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Or you can check out some of the videos that I have here on the screen for you guys. You can get a gauge and see more of my content here on my channel. And I hope that you would consider subscribing. Again, thanks so much for tuning in, and I hope to catch each and every one of you on the next video. Until next time, y'all, stay blessed. Lydia.